Welcome back to New Zero Lands. Uh, I'm here with Nick, and he has an Upco. He just left a comment um, on one of my videos saying, hey, I have an Upco, where you wanna come ride it? I'm in Wellington. So here we are, and we're gonna ride his Upco. So, so excited. So our shopping trip is over. We already chose what bikes to buy next, but there are so many cool, quirky electric motorcycles out there, and we wanna ride them all. So in this video, we're riding an UPCO, which I think stands for Utility Bike Company. Wait, does that mean it's pronounced UPCO? These bare-bones, skeletal structure, exo-cage looking things are basically the aerial atom of electric mopeds, but with only 2 kilowatts of power. What makes this bike so unique is that it's two-wheel drive. So there's a 1 kilowatt hub motor in the back and another 1 kilowatt hub motor in the front. Even cooler, they're made here in New Zealand. So Nick is going electric and supporting a local business. And believe it or not, this is the most registered electric motorcycle in New Zealand. There are hundreds of these on the road now, and even more off-road, because the two-wheel drive is super handy on farms and rugged terrain. Domino's even uses these for delivery. Nick has these saddlebags on his, but the bikes were designed to strap all kinds of stuff to them. There are these mounting points all over the place. You can carry tools, I think those are tools. You can strap a gun to it, probably for traffic. There's even a hipster option, perfect for Wellington. The Upco's modular design makes it so that you can customize it however you want. Nick doesn't have a garage, so another cool feature is the removable 2.1 kilowatt hour battery pack, which he said gets him around 100 k's of range, probably because the bike is limited to 50 k's an hour. Upco also sells a bigger battery that you can use as a generator, so no more excuses to burn stuff, Upco has you covered. And I guess the plan is to stack these battery packs together in this off-road ATV kind of thing, so it seems like Upco has their eyes on the bigger picture of everything outdoorsy. Now, the test ride footage on this bike was pretty bad. I apologize in advance. My excuse is, it's hard to describe the feeling of riding something new right there on the fly, when at the same time you're trying to figure out how you feel about it in the first place. So yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna ramble. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that front motor. Wow, that's cool. Oh, it sounds cool too. Hub drive, huh? Wow, it's it's totally not not silent like um, most hub drive bikes. Oh, I like it. Oh, the regen's great too. Like if you go to just roll off, regen's pretty well. <laughs> wow, it's so easy to ride. And actually, the seating position is really good, too. Ooh. I'm definitely going to get lost on this ride. And I didn't bring my phone, so... <laughs> Not really saying anything useful about this, but it's just so easy to ride and so fun. So, yeah, it's so light. It's like, it's like a weird... It's not like a bicycle that much at all, because you're sitting low. Wow, and the power, like the torque taking off is cool. I'm just gonna do that. It's so weird that the front, like the front motor thing is just pulling you. But the, I don't know, when you're taking off the rear kind of spins too, because it's... I'm just gonna pause this test ride to elaborate what I was clearly unable to explain. It seemed like the rear wheel was breaking traction whenever I was leaving from a standstill. Maybe because the front wheel was pulling it along so it doesn't have to work as hard, making it slip. Or something about the physics of being pulled allows the rear to spin because... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, alright, back to the ride. Wow, yeah, the little... The little when you take off. And then you... I'm pinning it right now. It's going slow. But... At the same time, it's not really meant to go high speed, all that stuff. It's meant for a farm, you know, and Nick uses it for commuting. It seems perfect. Wow, yeah, the, the front motor pulling you along is so cool. Okay, where am I? Oh, it handles really well. Really well. I'm impressed. It's so easy to ride. Wow, 
I would love one of these for commuting. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah? Dude, it's so much fun. That's cool. Man, it handles really well. Unfortunately for Jen, the fuzzy ball mic came unplugged, so most of the audio was just wind noise. But this sums up her thoughts pretty well. <laughs> Come on, little bug, you can do it! You can do it! <laughs> It's a little <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, if we had any critiques of the Upco, it was that we just wished it had more power. I mean, two kilowatts, come on. I know this is a farm bike, class is a moped, and there are rules about how much power you can make, but I'd love one of these with like three times the power. And once again, Upco has us covered with their insane 15 kilowatt FRX1, the light bee killer. 15 kilowatts, I cannot even imagine how crazy that is. Also, really, what were we doing riding the Upco on the street? It was built to be off-road, on a farm, doing two-wheel drive donuts or something. So we'll definitely have to try one again in its proper habitat. Anyway, I'm so thankful to Nick for reaching out and offering to let us ride his unique little bike. If you're in Wellington and you also have a cool electric thing we can check out, let me know. I'd love to shoot a video about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.